Hello, great to have you with us. Our travels have taken us to the south of France. We're at the Orange Vélodrome. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from Liga Uber Eats. It's Marseille against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And this is the lineup for Marseille. Well, as you can see, they're going to play with a front two. And if you do that, it's vital that they work as a pair. They need to play close to each other and combine as much as possible. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Lionel Messi starts with Neymar out wide. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Kylian Mbappe. Let's hope it's one for lovers of pure football. Olympic Marseille get things underway. Neymar. And PSG pushing forward with options available. And take it away. Ronaldo. Well read to ease the pressure. Poor pass. And now Arkadiusz Milik. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Gendouzi. And beating the defender. Is always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Chance to attack using wit. And Neymar! And with that, the attack fizzles out. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Matteo Guendouzi. It's with Milik. He's given us away. An awful lot of green space to run into. This looks more than decent. Payet. They've won back possession. Neymar. Can they forge ahead? Still a chance. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, let's take another look at this. And from the attacking point of view, everything's right. The shot across the goalkeeper, players coming in for the rebound, and there's not much the goalkeeper could do about that. He made a good effort on the first one, couldn't react to the second.
And so Marseille get the ball moving again. Can they find a response here? Well, they've given him too much space, but quick thinking defensively. Neymar. Good use of advantage in favour of PSG. On the pass by Mbappe, he'll be disappointed. Gerson. Decent position. And smart defending. Messi. Verratti. And attempting the through ball. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. And the referee will go back now to the earlier incident. Yellow card it is. The delivery from Neymar. Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Verratti. Intelligent threaded pass here. Neymar. And there it is! Three goals in front now. An immense performance. A punishment dished out. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Neymar is having a wonderful game and proving to be a real handful for the defenders, you've got to say, Stuart. Yeah, he's certainly carved out plenty of chances. He's tested the keeper on numerous occasions and he got his reward with that goal. Brilliant stuff from him. Well, back in business here as we reflect on what was a joyous performance in the first half from PSG. Wijnaldum. Now with Hakimi. Idrissa Gay. Verratti. And now Gay. And winning it back. Messi. Messi. And here he is, Lionel Messi. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Can they hit on the break? A 
And with the goalkeeper. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Gendouzi. Cengiz Under. And they need to get tighter here. A foul, but advantage played. And a useful cross. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, threat over for now. Neymar. And nicely struck. And pushed away to safety. Corner awarded to PSG. And the substitution will occur now. Fired in by Neymar. Well, you can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. And they're making a change. Over it comes. And cleared away. Arkadiusz Milik. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. And they deal with the threat this time. Well, as the stats confirm, PSG have had the lion's share of possession. Oh, they could put it away, Stewart. Surely, just can't get it past him. Mbappe. Now Messi. Now disappointing end to the move. Ronaldo, Messi, perfect tackle, and it's going to run through to the keeper here. But in the closing phase here, and PSG excelling, Stuart. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. And after that run while in possession, a corner kick has been given. Substitution it is for PSG. It's Neymar's corner. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. are going to switch things around on the personnel front he's driven in the corner just far too close to the goalkeeper Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. And he cuts inside. Well, not the best clearance. Now can they counter clinically? Defenders need to cover. It needs an accurate cross. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. A really vital interception. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. And that will be all. Three points for PSG. That's the good news for their fans around the world. Your assessment.
Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. So, Neymar hits the headlines again. Your verdict on what he actually produced? Well, he scored a good goal, and if I was his coach, I certainly wouldn't be worried by him missing a couple of chances. The fact is, he was a constant threat today.